Hi everyone, sorry if there's a little bit of background sound, the light in my bathroom does make a sound, but today we are going to be vlogging quite a few things because it's a very busy day. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is I'm going to be bleaching and then dyeing, bleaching my roots and then dyeing my hair. And while we're doing that, I'm going to put all my groceries away, give you guys another little grocery haul because today I went to Vons and stocked up on some of my other like the last grocery haul I did, I'll link it up in the, in the cards, but I went to Trader Joe's, and Trader Joe's is, is definitely somewhere that I go a lot, but Vons is the other one that I go to a lot, and so I got all of our staples from Vons, so I thought that that would be a cool little different version of a grocery haul from our other store that we go to a lot. And then there's something really exciting happening in the afternoon that I'm really hoping it turns out well, I'm very nervous about, so that's happening, and then I'm going to be filming today, but I thought that it would be fun to bleach and dye my hair with you, and then also give you a little bit of grocery haul. All of the things that I need for this dyeing situation, so I have 30 volume developers, so when you bleach your hair you need a developer, there's 10, 20, 30, and 40, and basically the lighter your hair, the less volume you need. If you're very blonde, but you're trying to dye your hair, you probably only need 10. I have very dark roots, so I'm gonna go with 30. 40 is like a little bit too harsh for me on my hair. Um, and I did see, I, in doing some research, I found that some things that you can do is like go down to 20 develop, 20 volume, and you can bleach it twice, and that's a little bit healthier than doing a 40 volume. But I'm gonna stick with 30, I've done it with 30 before, and I like how it comes out. So I'm gonna do 30 developer. I have a brush. I've never used it before, but um, I also read that you should use all plastic products because if you're using anything that's not plastic, like metal or like real hair or anything, it's gonna mess up the hair and um, the metal interacts with the bleach, so that could be bad. I also have a little tumbler thing. I have all my dye in here, and then I bought gloves. Important, bleach is so Bleach is so bad for you. Like, if you can get away without bleaching your hair, do that. Because it's so bad. It's bad for your skin, so that's why you want to wear gloves. My bleach, I've used this brand before, and I liked it. It's the Quick Blue Extra Strength Bleach from L'Oreal. I like it. I don't know if there's, like, better or worse bleaches. This is just the one that I tried and the one that I felt comfortable buying again. And then I bought more developer for later. I also bought some headbands. Irrelevant to right now. Cool, so we're gonna bleach. So the thing that I read, the research that I did, told me to separate my hair into like essentially three parts, like the front part and then half that and then the back. So we're gonna do that first. I'm gonna improvise here because I don't know where my one hair tie is. Separated and now I guess I need to do this part. So it says to do 1.5 to 2.5 fluid ounces of this, so I'm going to go ahead and do two. And I should have used the littler one to finish it off, but oh well. Basically the thing that I read was like you want to get little piece, little thin like pieces this way and you're going to do all of that and to not go straight all the way to where the growth is because bleach expands so you want to go a little bit before the actual end of your roots have grown out because it will go towards it and if you go further than that right to the end then it'll actually start bleaching out the part that's already been bleached and it's just not as good for your hair so i'm going to do all of this side first and then i'm going to go to this side and then we're going to actually move positions so that i can get another mirror and we'll do the back i'm nervous I'm by no means a professional, so if you're watching this video trying to figure out how to bleach your hair, please know this is the first time I've ever, ever done it by myself. Definitely just looked up some YouTube tutorials and then said, fuck it, let's go. I'm not worrying too much because I am getting a little bit of bleach in different places, but I'm re-dyeing my whole head of hair after this, so like, it doesn't need to be perfect. Yeah, cute. So cute. I also made sure that my hair was nice and dirty for this because 
your oils, I read and researched that your oils that your like head naturally makes protects your scalp. So you want to try to have dirty hair when you do this. Um, I also read that you could like put coconut oil on it. You know, a bunch of different things. I didn't do any of that. But you can do it better than me if you so choose. You can already see it starting to lift, if you can see that. Okay, I'm going to actually turn you off. I'm going to do my back of my head, and we'll come back with this messy hair to do a grocery haul. Okay, next step. Is this better? Ooh, that's really yellow. Bag on my head. Alexa, set a timer for 35 minutes. 35 minutes, starting now. Okay, so that's for my head. But let's do groceries. So, first off, two big water jugs, yay, along with... Water, I have three bags of groceries. So I have some wheat bread. This is the whole grains or wheat. I eat that with eggs in the morning. I got some vanilla almond um, special K cereal. Um, and then I have some bacon, some spinach, either for salads or to put in smoothies. Some chopped onions. I could have bought a whole onion, but I decided to buy a chopped set um, and we're gonna have tacos I think tonight. I have some fruit, some blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, and then a little mix of strawberries and blueberries and all of this is gonna go either in my yogurt or in uh, smoothies. I bought some spicy hummus to go with pretzels. I really love these pretzel crisps. They're like thinner and I just like the texture of the thin pretzel crisp. I don't know. Um, but I got the everything ones to go with this. I got some popcorn to snack on. This is the Boom Chicka Pop sea salt popcorn. I like this. We eat this at work a lot. And um, low calorie, nice little snack. Um, trying to, I'm trying to get rid of the chips in my life, like Cheetos. I'm so bad with hot Cheetos. So I'm trying to find something spicy for that part, but then like to snack on like that. I then I got some eggs. So again, for breakfast, I've been focusing on making over easy eggs with toast. And then I also got some bananas for my smoothies. And also if I want to put it in yogurt, I don't personally love putting bananas in yogurt, but I also will sometimes make a peanut butter and banana sandwich. Um, I got some, tor whoa, I got some tortillas for tacos. Love that. I personally like a soft tortilla. Matt prefers the hard shell, but I just am not into it. And then I got some cheese, Mexican blended cheese for tonight, but also in general, and then some Parmesan cheese. I didn't get any, um, I've been really loving like bean pasta, but in my last haul, I got some zucchini pasta that I still haven't tried, it's still in the freezer. So we'll try that. And then I stocked up on some vegan vegetarian options. So I got two bags of chorizo crumbles. Um, and then I, yeah, so two bags of chorizo crumbles. I'll eat this in the morning a lot, and Matt actually likes this. I'm trying to get him more into some vegetarian options too, and so far this is the only one that he likes. And then I also got some black bean, uh, chipotle black bean crumbles, and so I thought that this might be good to try too, maybe as a taco meat substitute. And then I did also get some chicken needed to replace our mayonnaise so I got some mayonnaise I also got some strawberry vanilla granola to go in my yogurt my Greek yogurt I like the vanilla light and fit Greek vanilla yogurt I do not like regular Greek yogurt I find that shit nasty but the vanilla one is a little bit sweeter and it's still pretty low in sugar this one is only eight grams of sugar um, per serving and then it's 90 calories per serving um, and 14 grams of protein so not too bad um, and then some salsa to go with the tacos and for chips and stuff I didn't buy any chips but we will need to go back and get some few another few things because I was trying to be fast but yeah that's everything for this haul um, I am trying to stick 
with a higher protein macro right now and then I also am intermittent fasting so that's been new um, I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this away and then I'm probably gonna make some breakfast before I have to rinse this out and then start dyeing my hair it's almost noon it's 10 minutes till noon all right it is now time to dry and then put in put in the dye Woo, color okay hey okay. I'm not gonna lie that actually looks pretty cool with the yellow <laughs> with the yellow color okay so I have four different purples in this thing now so I've got well actually I actually have a midnight blue and then I have three different purples that we're gonna just smoosh into the hair. Four different colors. So I like to just kind of swirl them. Chelsea taught me this trick. And then just fucking go for it. There is no rhyme or reason to this part for me. I just slap it on and zhuzh. I do try to do the roots first because I want to make sure it's all wet. No. Again, I'm honestly, other than the roots, not that worried about like a full coverage even because I already have this blue in it and like I'm okay with it looking a little bit like funky with the blue and the purple. I'm just not all that concerned. I just really wanted to cover up the roots. That was the main concern. I am probably going to need to bring out some more dye though because there's a lot left. It looks like we might get everything covered with that one set. I really get those ends. I'm really excited to not be that weird yellowy green anymore. That is the look. So, I now have a timer on for 30 minutes. You don't need to be as worried with the dye. My hand is purple. You don't need to be as worried with the dye as with the bleach for your hands, but it does dye your skin a little bit and it will come out like in probably a day or two. Same thing goes for like if you get it around your face, it's not really a big deal because it will come off and you can always cover it up with makeup. But I like to just dab around, make sure to get as much as possible away. I actually decided that I was going to wait a second and not do my makeup because I had to leave for the thing that I went to. I'm super disappointed. I went and evaluated to be a professional interpreter for the first time at a college and I did not pass the test. So I was told that I should come back in 6 to 12 months. So like, I don't feel that bad about it because I'm not even done with my interpreting program and like, I kind of went in thinking I would probably not pass and I wanted to get the feedback so I did get some feedback so I know what I need to be making sure I'm working on in this last semester in my interpreting program but that's what I went and did. This is the final product of the hair. It's super purple. Do that. Super purple, super dark, way darker than I even maybe thought but I'm really loving it. There is some lavender over here because I did put lavender in my hair too um, but that's the hair and I also wanted to do a quick like body update because I'm trying to do these about once a month on this channel. Um, I am currently working on some things like I was saying earlier. I'm currently intermittently fasting and then I'm so I'm doing a 16-8 so 8 hours where I eat and then 16 hours where I fast so that's what I'm working on right now and then I also am I even on, in focus? Ooh, maybe I'm more in focus way up here. Sorry. Um, I also am trying to count macros. I'm trying to work on do getting to 30% protein every day, which of like all my food, that's what a macro is. Um, if you want a video all on macros and stuff, I can definitely do that for you. Just let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, I'm trying to do 30% uh, protein right now. I'm hitting about 20, which is more standard, but I want to have more. But anyways, I wanted to show you a body update so I can also keep track of what my body looks like and everything while I'm doing this. So this is me right now. So I am currently about 145 pounds. Um, this is side view, front view, back. <laughs> And I'm gonna go to yoga and I'll be back and I'm gonna do some makeup and then this vlog will be over after I film. So, see you in a bit.
I went to finish this vlog and I tried to film like three different clips and none of it happened. I don't know what happened, but basically I got home from yoga. I did not like in my yoga class. The class I normally go to on Thursday, on Tuesday nights at 4.30 is ran by this one particular person, but that person is currently on maternity leave, so there was a sub and this is the first time we've had the sub and I didn't like her style. If you guys are interested in like talking about yoga, like I would love to do a whole video about yoga and like the kind of yoga I like, but all the different kinds there are. And like I'm not an expert by any means, but uh, just kind of talking about like why I like yoga when it comes to the gym and stuff, that would be fun for me. So if you're interested, let me know. But basically the yoga that I think I prefer is like a flow yoga where it's a lot of movement the entire class. It makes me really get into focus. And this class, she like didn't do any flow. I think we did one. Uh, chaturanga. That's it. So, I don't know. I just didn't like your style. Anyway, I got home. I also went to film my makeup, like my regular makeup routine for you in this vlog, and then it wasn't filming the entire time. So, I will be doing a uh, makeup routine video coming up here in the next few weeks probably, but it won't be in the next couple weeks because I've got a set of videos that I want to post, and one of them it wasn't that because it didn't get filmed today. So I'm done. This is my hair now styled. It's definitely very blue and very purple. There's some lavender color in here and there is a little bit of blue up here too. You can definitely, like if you look really close, you can definitely see the root change. But I am totally okay with that. Like it doesn't bother me. Um, but it is there. So if you were curious about like the virgin hair over the other rest of the dye when you're coming to especially because it's a totally different color that I didn't dye my hair the last time so I really like it it's definitely darker than I thought it was going to be like this is way darker than I thought I was I thought it was going to be more like this color throughout the whole thing um but I really like the mix of this blue here and the purple on the top and I just am obsessed with this new colored hair thing that I'm doing so I am getting my hair cut on Friday um, and I probably will do a little something about that. It might be a whole video. I'm not sure. I might just vlog that day. Um, so we'll see. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already. I make videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. So keep an eye out. There's also a very exciting thing in the works that may or may not be something that you would listen to and not watch. Um, and it's with my best friend, and that was basically telling you what it is without telling you what it is, but I'm really excited about it, so keep an eye out. It probably won't happen for, like, another month or so because we're getting into the works of, like, branding and all of that jazz, but I'm super excited about it. Oh, I can't even keep it a secret. So, that's definitely a cherry on top of this day that I had. I also had a lot of good things happen today, like my hair turned out great. I was very nervous about it, but uh, I also unfortunately didn't get the job that I was interviewing for, that I got evaluated for, and that yoga class, man, it just was not the business. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys very soon with a new one. Bye!